Welcome back to KSNT News at 10. I'm KSNT Storm Track meteorologist Christina Reese, and it's been a dry one today, a complete opposite from what we saw yesterday, and also a little bit on the chillier side. We're seeing most of us still hanging in the 60s, mid to upper 60s to be exact. A couple of further down south in Emporia as well as Burlington still hanging on to the 70s for this evening. Now let's track out those temperatures hour by hour for you. Starting the clock at 9 a.m. tomorrow, mostly 60s across northeast Kansas. As we work into the day, we warm up nicely for dinner time at 6 p.m. We'll be in the, most of us in the 80s. A couple of us might crack the 90 degree mark if you're heading further out west. Now as we turn the clock into the time for fireworks right around 10 p.m. It'll be pretty nice, mid-70s for most of us, but the humidity will also be a factor. Now, we're also monitoring the chance for some more hot weather, and it will be on our doorstep at 2.30 on Tuesday. 90s are going to be back in the forecast. Some areas might actually crack the 100-degree mark later on in the day on Tuesday. So. We were below average and now we're going back to being above average. And that's because we were cooler because of all the rain we saw the last 48 hours. Look at that. Over five inches in northwest Lyon County sent in by Colette Gilbert. But we've dried out pretty nicely as we take a look at satellite and radar. Not really much in terms of precipitation. We saw a couple spotty showers in Lyon County that have since dwindled away. Mostly cloudy skies will remain for the course of tonight. But let's plan out all of your 4th of July plans starting the clock at 1030 tonight. Mostly cloudy skies will stay intact for tonight for any fireworks that might still go off. As you're waking up tomorrow morning, this model's being a little aggressive in terms of precipitation. I really don't foresee any of that happening. Just mostly cloudy skies as you're waking up around 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. But then the sun really starts to take control. We'll see the clouds continue to shift towards the east right around lunch, and then they'll clear out entirely. Look at this. By 6 p.m., mostly sunny skies, and it'll stay that way through the first half of the evening right in time for fireworks. It's going to shape up to be a beautiful one. For tonight, though, we'll drop down to 64 degrees in the capital city, mostly cloudy. We might see some patchy fog develop throughout the course of the overnight hours, and those will clear out by early tomorrow morning. Now, if you're heading out to Wamego for their 4th of July celebration, it's going to be a beautiful one. Look at this. 85 degrees for the high in the afternoon. If you're going later in the day, just in time for the fireworks, it'll still be pretty nice. We clear out nicely and we'll be in the 70s. However, the humidity starts to make a return as well starting for tomorrow. So it'll be a little bit on the hum humid to muggy side. Tuesday and Wednesday look to be more of the oppressive days in terms of the humidity, and they'll also be the hottest days as well. As we can see on our KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast, we usher in plenty of sunshine for the 4th, and that'll stay for the midweek, but we're also tracking those hotter temperatures. Look at that, we'll be back in the mid 90s, and we're also tracking the next potential for some rain for next weekend. Well, I think tomorrow is going to be just an absolutely wonderful.